the European Order for Payment Procedure. This procedure has some similarities with the European Enforcement Order in that it covers cross-border monetary claims which are not contested and leads to the granting of an order which is enforceable in other member states without the intermediate procedures set out in the Brussels I regulation. Unlike the European Enforcement Order, however, it is not necessary first to have a court order or document of debt such as an authentic instrument or court settlement. The European Order for Payment Procedure can be used only for pecuniary claims for specific amounts that have fallen due when the application for the order is submitted. The European Order for Payment Procedure is purely a written procedure and does not of itself involve a court hearing unless or until such time as the European Order for Payment is contested or opposed. Once the European Order for Payment is opposed, the case ceases to proceed under the European Order for Payment procedure. If the claimant wishes to continue the case, that has to take place under another appropriate procedure. The European Order for Payment procedure is optional in respect that it is up to the claimant to choose to use it rather than any of the other available ways in which the same claim could be made, including under national procedural law. It is commenced simply by completing the application form, Form A, which is found in the annex to the regulation. Form A and the other European Order for Payment Procedure forms are also available in electronic versions online at the European e-Justice portal. The European Order for Payment Procedure is of particular interest to claimants which have claims which are not likely to be opposed particularly in cases between businesses and consumers. It has to be remembered, though, that the jurisdiction rules applicable in claims against consumers under the European Order for Payment Procedure are modified from those in the Brussels I regulation, which would otherwise apply. When a claim under the European Order for Payment Procedure arises from a consumer contract and the consumer is the defendant, the competent court with jurisdiction has to be that of the member state where the defendant is domiciled as established under Article 59 of the Brussels I regulation. If the claim under the European Order for Payment Procedure is accepted and not opposed by the defendant, the court will issue the order and a certificate and thereafter the order can be enforced in other member states with no additional procedures being required and without the need for the European exequator under the Brussels I regulation. To this extent, the European Order for Payment Regulation abolishes exequator. Enforcement takes place under conditions similar to those in respect of enforcement of a European enforcement order. The European Order for Payment Procedure came into application as from the 12th of December 2008.